This video is about my troubleshooting of this Gigabyte NVIDIA 980 Ti video card. So I bought this one as uh, non-workable and immediately I took off the sync to see uh, what's going on here on the PCB. So the first thing I noticed when I inspected is these two parts here were capacitors and they looked like uh, they were soldered by hand so it didn't look like uh, it's machine soldering like any other components here on the on this pcb and then i saw these markings here are saying r174 and r172 but these were the capacitors on my board so that was indicating that something is wrong there um then I tested both capacitors and they worked fine. So then I put back heatsink, put the card inside the testing computer and then run it. Guy who sold me the card said that the card was working. So you could see the picture on the screen, but when you, when you put the card on load, sometimes it crashes. I put the card inside, I got the picture, I started a few games and after few minutes of playing the card crashed the whole pc i got the blue screen of death and i had to restart my computer so again i pull it out from the computer uh remove the heatsink for me those two were green capacitors like this here and then after i searched the internet i found out there is two versions of this pcb actually the pcb is the same but some components of this PCB on some versions are present and some other are not. I think that's uh, because of different types of memory that Gigabit puts on these cards. So, for example, look at this PCB here. This version has these capacitors here in the middle. Also have these four capacitors here. And here, where the problem was, Initially, you can see uh, two resistors, the black ones. These are actually um, ferret beds. And then after I uh, browse the internet, I found the same card. Let me see this, the same version, like this one. Yeah, and I immediately recognized my own card. So on this version, you see here, these middle capacitors are missing. And also here, you can see you have only two caps here. And these two things here, on this image actually looks black. But on the second one, let me show here. So two caps, no middle caps here. And this one looks green. I saw that and said, okay, those capacitors there on my uh, version of the board, which is the same like this one. So there is no middle caps and only two caps here. Uh, there should be capacitors there, even though uh, the marking says uh, it should be the resistors. So to know there should be the capacitors or resistors, I have to trace the board in order for me to know the role of these uh, components here in overall schematics. So I started to trace the board and I found out that, let me show you here, where I can have, yeah. So um, we have these two ICs, inside are two MOSFETs and each IC is proper power supply for the memory. This IC and this choke is one phase of the power supply for the RAM memory. This would be the other phase. So this RAM memory here is powered by separate two phases. And it works like this. It's powered by 12 volts from this connector here. And it chops that 12 volt into 1.8 or 2 volts for the memory. So on the input of this IC, I have to have uh, 12 volts. And then I traced all these lines here and I find out that for this IC the 12 volt line I, is direct here and you can see this trace here goes all over there 
and actually you cannot see it here but it does go on this resistor here and this choke here so direct line the direct 12 volt from the connector here goes to input of this ic so i don't see why this ic wouldn't get the 12 volts from the power line so i traced this input and it goes directly here to this small island this small island here is separate uh, on this side of the board i traced this small island it wasn't easy because you cannot see where it goes when it goes to under layer but i traced it here to this input resistor and this choke here so this phase is powering basically 12 volts come from there here and from this island it should go directly here to the input of this, this ic if you have capacitors here current cannot go through the capacitors because it's direct current it's not alternating so um when i draw the schematics of all this i traced it basically looks like this this 112 volt input it has that big uh resistor there current sensing resistor then the choke and then the the line powering whatever on the board and from that power line it goes here on that r174 and r172 on my version currently i had capacitors in place there and then we have this capacitor and this filter capacitors here so the 12 volts should go here on the drain of this mosfets so those two are inside this one so th this line is for for this line here okay so it comes there and these two gates are going into this uh ic which is controlling the these two uh, choppers and it chops out two volts or 1.8 volt or whatever memory needs here so this is the controller for these two and it chops from 12 volts that comes in to 2 volts or 1.8 volt for the memory so clearly we need to have 12 volts here on this input and also for this other one i can see here clearly the 12 volt without any components in between goes into the input of this phase so uh I was thinking if this is the capacitors somebody plays there those two capacitors won't let 12 volt line to come here so uh i decided to bridge these two capacitors i removed them and i was thinking what to place there because uh, this card has a problem with these two resistors uh, problem is that they burned out and uh, burned through the PCB itself and who knows uh, what damages underneath layers of this PCB so I removed these capacitors and I recorded to see what's going on uh, here on my board so let me show you the video this is actually on my board so I can hit play you can see here it was burned and the pads are part of the pads are missing here so this board was burned before uh, i bought it and somebody put the capacitors there probably uh, made a mistake or he knew what he's doing put the capacitors there because if you put the capacitors there you disable basically uh, let me show you that you basically disable all this phase and then the memory runs only on one phase so when you do that only this phase is active and supplying the power to the ram memory and this phase is inactive and so this phase must be overloaded and after some time it heats up and crashes uh, then i clean this all up and placed uh, here zero ohm resistor and only one why i did that because if again starts to draw the current through this ic the zero ohm resistor should burn but it shouldn't burn like um, for example these two ferret beds they can get very hot for a long time before they actually burn uh, 
so they burn through the PCB. Now I place the zero ohm resistor, only one there's so all current for this phase goes through that one. And if the current is too high, that zero ohm resistor will just die, it won't burn through the whole PCB. And after that, uh, I put it all together, place inside my testing computer and it started to work fine without crashes. Um, after that, put it inside my normal computer where I have the games, then I tested the games and so far uh, no crashes, plays normally, it goes up to 80 degrees and the uh, games are smooth, so everything works fine. If you are unlucky and some of the, these ICs burned and put the 12 volt line directly to the memory, uh, your memory is burned out. So, no luck for you then, but when I bought this card, good thing was that I had a picture there. So when it's not loaded, I had a picture, so the RAM memory must be working. And then that was my starting point. So uh, I was lucky that whoever burned this card, probably the current went through here to the, to the ground and then burned these two things actually these are now not capacitors but now I placed here zero ohm resistor let me see uh, R so I placed here one zero ohm resistor uh, to act like a fuse and now if the current is too high here this resistor will burn and stop the current from flowing to this phase of the remember okay so that would be it hopefully this will help somebody uh, if you have any questions please write to me okay bye